What do I call with matrix? If you remember that sets were nothing but the one dimensional representation of uh, uh, any objects or anything. Let's say if I talk about set of natural numbers. So how do we use to write this? 1, 2, 3 and so on. Right, if, you, if I write it into the uh, roster form. So what is my idea here? The idea is that here I am able to represent that data set into the one dimensional manner. I just have one row here or simply one dimensional manner. Okay, now the things become interesting when you want to represent your data in two dimensional manner, right? So whenever I wish to represent, it's not just represent, represent or collect. So if I want to represent or collect data in two dimensional manner, 2D manner, what do I mean to say by 2D manner? So I'll be, I, I will be actually uh, containing my data or rather collecting my data in terms of rows and columns. So whenever such representation is concerned for the data, this is called up as the matrix representation. All right. Okay. So let's quickly see the proper definition that we have. It just that it is the two dimensional representation of the data set. Okay. Data could be collected in any form. It could be of any process. It could be any physical phenomena, anything, right? It could be any, any, anything. So everyone, please note on the definition. It's a rectangular arrangement of M into N numbers, right? Particularly the total numbers are M into N. It could be real, it could be complex. Yes, matrix can contain real numbers, it can be complex even the complex numbers. All right. Okay. Or expression. So it not just contain the numbers, real or imaginary, or it can contain the real or complex expressions also. Right. Okay. Having M rows and N columns. This is called a matrix. Where if I particularly write this M and N both belong to natural numbers. Right. I can have either one row or two row. I cannot have 1.357 row. For obvious reasons, right? Okay, so both M and N has to be natural numbers. Perfect. Okay, so if I go for a very general interpretation, it goes somewhat like this. I have this A11, A12, A13, and so on. This one A11. So this will be my first row. I will be calling this as row one. The second one, this becomes my row two, and so on. We have actually how many rows? I have M rows. So this is what my row M or Mth row, if you put it up in that way. Similarly, if I talk about this is what my first column, right? This one particularly, this is nothing but what my, it is actually second column and so on. All right. So it's a two dimensional representation of data set. Okay. So it's a standard way of writing it. All right. So we, here we have these M number of rows N number of columns. All right. So these will be my columns and here these will be my rows. So that's why it becomes a two dimensional representation of the data set. Perfect. Now, if I talk about uh, this matrix, okay, okay let, let me take an example. Let's say what happened uh, at Baidu's, we have conducted a certain test. Okay, all right. Then uh, let's say the, the subjects were physics, chemistry, and maths that I'm keeping in, let's say, columns. Okay, let's say as a name of the columns. And uh, if I'm keeping, let's say, there, I, I want to see the highest scores in three different cities. Let's say I want to see the cities as Bangalore, Delhi and Calcutta. All right. Or let me put it up like Mumbai. So Bangalore, Delhi and Mumbai beating him. Okay. So my subjects are physics, chemistry and mathematics and my cities are Bangalore, Delhi and Mumbai. Okay. Now look for this thing. What I'm going to represent here, I just want to represent the maximum number or rather maximum marks attained in that particular test. All right. Let's say the maximum marks are 100. Right. So let's say the maximum marks attained are uh, out of 100 in a certain AITS. So certain AITS happened. There was certain portion was covered. So for all the three subjects, right? So this PCM are what? Subjects. Right. I'll just write it here clearly. This is subjects. Perfect. And these are nothing but what? Different cities. See guys, I'm just taking random cities in, right? So you might belong to any other city. I'm okay with that. That's good. All right. So understand the idea behind it. Okay. Not because the why only name my city, sir. Okay. So uh, we have three different cities randomly, let's say, and I want to write the highest score obtained in that test. This AITS. So what happened in physics? Let's say the highest score from Bangalore was 96. For Delhi, it was let's say 97. For Mumbai, let's say it was 93. Okay, in chemistry, let's say the Bangalore was 95 and let's say Delhi was 92 and from Mumbai, let's say it was 98. Maths, oh, maths I'm teaching, right? If I will be teaching, then of course, you're going to get the maximum marks, what, as 100, 100 and 100. I'm feeling, I think it has to be. All right, so, uh, <laughs> anyways, you must have got the idea that um, 
this is how my data set got represented. Then what we do, we put up into this square bracket sometimes, or we put up into these like these square bracket which you see here. Sometimes we put up like these brackets also, the curvy brackets, a bigger one, right? Either of them. So both of them will actually be a representation. So this is how my data was actually stored in a certain matrix in terms of rows and columns, right? Where my rows were representing the cities and my columns were representing the different subjects. So what is the advantage? In this one, I was able to store a lot of information. For example, if I quickly want to see what is the highest marks in chemistry from Mumbai. So chemistry, Mumbai, I will be zeroing down upon this, this, which is clearly nothing but 90. All right, okay. So this is just a representation style. This is just a way of denoting it. And I hope you understood the basic idea behind that, how this is moving. All right, okay, perfect. So please write down the standard way of writing it. That's how we write the elements as A11, A12, A13, A1N, because I have N columns here. Similarly, second row elements are A21, A22, A23, so on till A2N, because it's the second row and I have N columns in that. All right, similarly, the last one. Okay, just the simple illustration I've taken up here for the subjects and I hope that makes a fair sense. All right, okay, now, now what I'm gonna do, if I talk about the particular representation of a general uh, number or other general element of this uh, matrix. So element of any matrix can be denoted by as Aij. What does Aij mean? Aij is nothing but it's basically the element of this Aij. It's actually the element of ith row and jth column. Yes, you heard it right. This is element of ith row and jth column. I J A I J. So I Th will be the row and J Th will be the column. Let's take up this one. Let's say if I talk about this A M two. So I have clearly this one as M Th row, and clearly this one is what second column. So basically A M two is actually the M Th row and second column element. That's why I'm calling it as A M two. So A I J stands for I Th row and J Th column element. That's how it's having standardized. There is no logic behind it. Just a standard notation or way of representation is. All right, please get comfortable with it because this is going to be utilized in hundreds of places, right? So AIJ stands for ith row, jth column element. If I have A23, I'm talking about second row and third column element, right? If I have A54, I'm talking about fifth row, fourth column element. All right, sure, perfect. Then if I talk about the total number of elements, then you must have here, like uh, noted down here, we have total M into N numbers. So the total numbers will be nothing but what? Simply M into N. These will be the number of elements. So it's basically the number of elements, uh, sorry, the number of rows into number of columns, right? Which is nothing but M into M. All right. So if you want to write it, that if what are the total number of rows, sorry, the total number of elements, the total number of elements will be nothing but equal to number of rows multiplied by number of columns. Okay. Which is in this case is nothing but M into N. 